Hi everyone, I'm Johnny Richard and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you the team that I did today, that I used today uh, in the Master League Classic. So it's a team of Lugia in the lead and Double Dragons in the back. So it's similar to the team that I used previously. Instead, I have Lu I'm using Lugia instead of Mewtwo. So anyway, we have our first battle here and we have a member the lead. So this is quite a bad lead. Um, because all the moves that we're doing are resisted but because of Lugia's bulkiness we can um, kind of chip it down and then the air blasts do do a, a ton of damage and here I can shield up one the last rock slide and I can take a shield back with the sky attack and I can just let the Lugia go down here and I'm gonna come in and farm down with the Zekrom I can just no shield the rock slide and I see what they come in. They come in with the Lugia. So I'm gonna farm up a little bit more. I'm gonna go for the wild charge and I'm gonna swap out to Dialga. They are deciding to stay in, which tells me that they don't have a hard punish to Dialga. So we have to shield up the potential arrow blast, which, should, which I do. Uh, they have a Tokis. So I'm gonna build up to two Iron Head. And the first one will get the shield and the second one will get the toe kiss to the red and then they kind of have to throw a move here to take out my dialogue but my Zekrom can come back in and farm toe kiss down and then get off the wild charge and KO the Lugia and take that game so GG's to my opponent Okay, so we're gonna hop into our match number two now and we have a ho-ho lead so this is a neutral lead what they're gonna do is that they're gonna likely throw a brave bird and just dip out because the brave bird will lower their defense and they have a giratina so i made a mistake here because i have two hard punish to giratina there was no need for me to throw a sky attack because I needed to bank that sky attack for the hole when it comes back in. So I can just come in with the Elga and farm all the way down. And they're most likely come back in with the Hoho. And I can go for a Thunder. They might decide to shield and just farm me all the way down, which they do. So it is unfortunate that they are farming me down with all that energy. And here I have the shield because my Lugi is so low and they have a dialog in the back so i'm gonna go straight for the aeroblast and see if they want to shield they do shield so i can switch to zekrom and then i have to respect the draco so i have to shield and i can just go for the crunch and this will get the dialog to the red and i can farm down the dialog they're gonna come back with the hoho -ho. they have to throw a move because incinerate will not ko my um Zekrom and here's a race between Dragon Tail and Incinerate and unfortunately I just miss out by one H by like one HP so GG's to my opponent Okay, so we have our third opponent here and we have a Lugia into Mel Metal again. So have to stay in and just no shield the first two rock slide and shield the third rock slide. And always go for the air blast because you might get a boost, so you never know. And it does do quite a lot of damage and they usually never shield because it, it is resisted, so why shield? And then yeah, so I'm, I'm at a sky attack, so I have the shield. And then this sky attack will pressure another uh, a shield back. And they do shield, perfect. So I can, they can't farm me down. So they have to throw, which is perfect. And I can just farm down with the Zekrom. I do have to eat a rock side, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't do that much, it's non stat So uh, let's see what they have for Zekrom. They have a Dialga, so I'm gonna switch out to my own Dialga. 
uh, they have a Lugia. Um, I'm gonna build up to the potential Draco. I'll go for the Iron Head because sometimes they do shield, but this time they don't. So that's unfortunate for me. I do have the shield because it's gonna be an Aero Blast most likely, and it is. And I'm gonna build up again to a potential Draco. I just go for the Iron Head. And then they're gonna come back in with the Dialga and I'm gonna have to get this off, this iron head off for chip damage. I do get the last shield, perfect. And then Zekrom can come back in. I'm just hoping this is not a Draco. And it isn't. And I can just get this crunch off. And then it's the race between Dragon Breath and Dragon Breath. And Zekrom just take it. And we take that win. So GG to my opponent. So we have match number four now. So we have Lugia into Dialga. So I noted it, I noticed that this Dialga is not best bodied. So you know that's that's a positive for us. So we can no shield this. So like even a Draco, I think probably a best body Draco might KO, but because it's not best body, I can kind of tank it. And I can just come back, I can just snipe the Dialga with a, my own Dialga. And they have a Shadow Snorlax, so I'm going to build up to the Draco and just bait with the Iron Head. I do get a shield, so and I have to shield. I have to respect the Earthquake or Superpower, which it is. And here I have to shield because I do have Iron Head ready. And, and they're gonna switch out to Giratina, which is fine. I'm gonna build up a little bit more. Go for the Iron Head. This will pressure the last shield, which it does. And I'm gonna switch out to Sekrom, and I can easily tank this Shadow Ball. And here I got a bit greedy. Um, I'm hoping this is not a shadow ball. And it isn't, so I can just farm all the way down. And then the Zekrom will wild charge the Snorlax for the win. And we take that game, so GG's to my opponent. So I want to talk a bit about the IVs on my three Pokemon. The Lugia, the shiny Lugia is 14, 14, 14 and the Dialga is 15, 15, 15 with the best body boost and then the Zekrom is 15, 15, 15 so I haven't managed to get a Hondo Lugia so I just decided to max out my um, shiny Lugia because it's shiny so why not so anyway we're here going to find an opponent, our last opponent of the set and we have a Lugia into an Escadrille lead. So this is quite a bad lead because all our moves are resisted. But as we can see from previous matches that Lugia is such a tank. We can let the first two rock cycle through. No problem. And, and here I do go for Aero Blast, which is probably a mistake because Escadrille is very squishy. So they are shielding. So we can mass shield here. And I have to go for the sky attack because they will get to another rough side, which I cannot take. And I do burn both shields, so amazing. And we do make a simultaneous swap. They have a Zekrom and we have a Dialga. So I have to shield up the potential outrage, which I do. And I can just farm it all the way down. And I'm gonna throw the, the iron head wherever it comes in because I have so much energy and I don't want that with energy to go to waste and they do live by 1 HP which is unfortunate so I can come in with the Zekrom and just get one Dragon Breath in and they have a Togekiss so I can just go for a Wild Charge and take the win so thank you for watching and I see you all in the next video bye bye